Hi guys, welcome back. Excuse the big scratch on my head. That's what happens when you're building a camper van, smack my head off something. Um, so there's a bit of an update today. Um, I've done a few bits, but there's obviously still quite quite a bit to do. Um, I've skipped some of the filming again, um, just for for the fact that the things I've done don't really require nice video. Started to put the floor down. I've got like a sort of, I don't know if you can see it in this light, but it's a high gloss which yes, will be very slippy when wet, I'd imagine. Um, and it's high gloss walnut, which should look nice when it's all finished. Um, also the TV has come today, which I'm gonna be fitting shortly. There is it out of the box. And I found this old bracket that I've got in the shed. So to save me buying one, I think I'm gonna reuse this one. And what I'm gonna be looking to be doing is, is to fixing that up there like that. And then up the top there, so here, I'm going to rive nut into the metal framework. Yeah, I know there's no cables in here, so I'm safe to, to sort of put it in there. And I might have to put a bolt straight through them three just to stop it swinging out. But we'll see how that goes. I'm still waiting for the surface mount socket to go here for this to, to wire into. But I have just checked the TV and plugged it into this point just to check that it works. And it does. So that's definitely a bonus. The next thing is, I've begun to make this um, framework for the seat, which the toilet's going to go in, and that will sit there. Now, I'm going to get a sheet apply on the top and a sheet apply on the, the bottom, which both will fold up to reveal the seat. The toilet seat height on um, the Thetford Cube 1365 is 408 millimeters high, which sits just slightly proud of this. And the idea of that is, is so that when the lid's up, you can sit and, and you know, you're not gonna get sort of restricted by this. Um, and also when I put the lid on, because it needs to be, I think it was 414, I'd have to check, um, to cover the top of the lid. I'm gonna build a framework to sit on top of this, which will then be attached to the ply, which will lift up either way or, or you know, We'll get to that, but that's the basic framework of, of the seat done. Um, I've just moved that out of the way because it's in the way a bit. Um, and so, yeah, today's task is going to be fitting that teller. One more thing I did forget to mention is this that I made. Now, the carpet edging looks really rubbish, unfortunately, um, but I had to work with what I had left. And so basically I'll just cut that to fit in that gap and then attach two boards either side, which as you can see, the edges are rubbish, but I'm gonna find some way of, of sorting them edges out, but it, it just sort of covers that. If I turn the camera that way, it covers the, um, you know, all the metal in the bottom of the seat and everything and tidies up a bit. because eventually I'll get a carpet there, um, you know, a tailored carpet, and then this will have um, some sort of edging put on it. And I might eventually have to modify this and drop it a bit because this seat is going to swivel around eventually. So I've finished off the basic framework of the seat. I know it's tatty as hell, but I'm going to be putting cl cladding on that anyway to cover the majority of it. But I've designed it like this. I've put a little piano in there. I might need a strong one, to be fair. It's a bit flimsy, but this will open up like that. And the reason the lid is so deep and so big is because the height of these bars is one centimetre below the height of the, the toilet that's going in there, which is a Thetford um, 365 cube, I think it's called. Um, and then that will fit in there perfectly. And then this lid will shut down over the top of the toilet perfectly. So on top of that will be foam. Um, and then obviously all this will be cladded with, I'm going to use the same stuff as the tongue groove, all around there. And then on the back of the bed here, and I'm going to have a little door or two little doors there, which will give access to under the bed. Reason for that is if you need anything from under the bed whilst you're um, in the van, you can get to it. But more so, if I want to buy anything like long pieces of wood, again, another another tip I got off Mal um, is you can put full length stuff down the, down the length of the bed here then. Um, the next thing is the TV is finished. Um, which I've mounted there. Now, that red wire will actually be plugged in behind it because I've got a, a feed for a USB and a, what's it, socket, 12 volt socket behind that. So that will be to there. I've tested the TV, it does work. I just plugged it in down here, just to check it out. Cause that red red wire is actually really, really long, which I didn't realize they come that long. Um, now, what I was going to do 
to keep it upright like that he puts a length of this through the bracket but the, the bracket was so difficult to drill through I didn't bother and what I've done is just put loads of zip ties around it so I don't know if you can see down there because it's actually a swing out bracket but it's angled down and I've fixed it into the metal ribs there and what I've done is I've used um, Riv nuts to hold it in, but I think that's more than sufficient anyway. And it's it's obviously pointing at the bed, so when you're lying in bed, you'd be able to watch, you know, the fire stick or or whatever. I might get a TV aerial, I don't know yet. Um, the other thing so about yeah. this step, I've not I've not cut the cut it to fit yet. This is obviously overlapping here, um, and the reason is because I've got one of them plastic step inserts coming, and I don't want to overcut this. So I'm going to wait until that arrives and then cut around that to make sure it fits properly I'm, over here i've not done down there because to be honest this is all i got out of this pack so um i haven't done there because i've not done under any of them so i'll be putting a board up there or possibly a wine rack something like that not fully decided yet also got the um doorknobs i've got them little twig ones which i quite like and i think it goes quite well with the kitchen um uh, yeah that's the tv i've got there it's a cello or cello 22 inch smart full HD TV. So I'm just waiting on the mattress now really and um, I've still got to get the owl brackets for over there and for there. Um, but yeah, it's not far off finished. I've put the um, spice rack and that little shelf there is for the two, is for two little plants. Um, I've also bought some wine glass holders to go here and a wine bottle holder I'm gonna put either over here or here. And then I'm just going to put some um, like sort of fake ivy around there, I think. Still got to tidy up these uh, this rope, but again, I'll do that when it comes to the snagging part. So there's going to be a lot of finer touches I'm going to have to make just to tidy up and make it look a bit more presentable and, and clean. Okay, guys, so it was generally just a short video today. Um, I just wanted to give you a bit of an update on what I've been doing. Um, I probably should have filmed a bit more again, but... Sometimes it's just easy to get on with it and to be honest I just I'm at a point now where I just want to kind of get it done um, Although I have been doing it pretty quick really. I mean, I think I started this one four weeks ago um, So yeah, I mean there's some quite good improvements with it and it's moving along quite quickly, but um, I've just got some snagging to do I've got to do the front of the bed round the seat base for the toilet get a toilet um, And I've got to put foam on the toilet get that recovered get the mattress in um, so there's a fair bit left to do. Not a great deal, but yeah, there is a fair bit. But um, it's moving along quite okay now, really. So uh, if you've got any questions, just post them in the um, comments and I'll be happy to answer them if I can. Um, and so, yeah. Just uh, if you like the video, like it and um, hopefully you'll subscribe. Um so i can't think of anything else to tell you about really the majority of it's what i've sort of covered i think really i'm not sure i'm gonna do about tv aerial yet for the tv whether i'm gonna put one in or not or just use it to watch films or what so because i don't really watch that much telly i just like the option of having it there um and so oh yeah i've got to get an awning as well and fit an awning rail um and that's about it i think really so yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and um, see you next time.